So hey guys, welcome back to Hey Guys episode 5. The first thing we're going to talk about is KSI versus Logan Paul. Let's get into it. So the KSI and Logan Paul fight has finally been confirmed after all this time. I was just waiting for this to confirm for so long. I was watching KSI's video, am I gonna fight Logan Paul? And then he's talking about other opponents. I was like, you know what? I don't want to see no other opponents. I just want to see KSI fight Logan Paul. He said it won't be the Copper Box, it'll be somewhere else, a bigger venue. I feel like it could be Wembley, O2. I don't know, because they're both big YouTubers. So both of them have over 30 million subscribers combined. It's crazy. So KSI's team and Logan Paul's team were talking. Someone filmed them talking on the phone on, you know, Logan was on a private jet, you know, he's living a high life right now. Them two have been talking, the two teams have been talking. So KSI, you know, he's kind of like the A-side. He said he wants his fight in the UK. But Logan Paul's like, nah, nah, I want it in the US, yeah? I don't I don't want to go to travel to the UK. So you know what? They might actually fight in the middle. Might go to Dubai, yeah? Dubai. Craziness. So of course this fight is gonna be live streamed on YouTube, you know, KSI's channel on Logan Paul's channel, I guess, just like the Joe Weller fight. So Logan Logan Paul, you know, he's had a bit of fighting experience, you know, he does MMA with his brother when he was younger and stuff, but he hasn't actually had some proper boxing experience like KSI, you know, he's undefeated, he's just basically Floyd Mayweather, mate, you know what I'm saying, he's unbeated, 1 to 0, yeah, it's not 50 to 0, it's 1 to 0 for KSI. This is a chance for Logan Paul to redeem himself, come back, Rocky style. No official date has been set for this fight, but we know it's going to be happening in 2018. So who will win at the Battle of the Kings of YouTube? Let's go out and get the verdict. Yo, we're here in the streets of Camden. Hey, yo, where's where's everyone, man? Where, where's everyone? Nah, nah. Hey, listen, the snow's just blocking, man. Blocking everything. Where's hey? Where? What's going on? Where's everyone? Yo, I'm out here again in the streets, and I'm not seeing anyone again. The third location, yeah. Hello, yo. There's no one here. This is just ridiculous now, bro. I can't, I can't be bothered now. I've had enough. So one of your favourite YouTubers is going on tour. Yeah, it's not, it's not me, it's not Els Marshall, it's Jack Maynard. So we've got an exclusive video by Jack to fill you in. Take it away. Hey MTV, what's going on? It's Jack Maynard here. I just want to let every single one of you know that I am going on tour in October. It's going to be amazing. I'm going to four different cities over four different dates. I'm doing Glasgow, Manchester, Birmingham and of course London. They are going to be amazing shows. They're going to be so crazy. I'm going to have loads of special guests with me and some familiar faces at every single show. So make sure you grab your tickets whilst you can. It is not one to miss. My first solo tour headlines. Tickets out now. Make sure you go grab them. So it looks like, you know, Jack Maynard's going to do a lot of DJing on stage, you know. So it's got me thinking, what would my tour be like? Introducing the man, the myth, Els Marcy, the legend is here. Hello! Everyone in the stadium, you know, the legend is here, you know, yeah, calm down, you don't need to clap so much, you know, I was like, yeah, yeah, calm down, yeah, I know you're, you're too excited, you are, yeah, you're, especially you're too excited. So yeah, uh, we've got a couple of uh, guests, you know what I'm saying, other YouTubers coming in, uh, you know, my dad, my mum's about, you know, they might come out, my brother as well, uh, so yeah, guys, be ready for the maddest show you've seen in your life. Uh, yeah, 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 uh, you, got, you guys at the front, yeah, all of you, goodie bad. Sorry, sorry to be back the back, you're not getting goodie bad, I can't go that far. The Els Marshall Live, tickets go and sell one, one, one day. So a man has certainly put a face mark on eBay. What? She sold it for originally $3, so she always sees that out. Let me just sell this, you know what I'm saying? Like $3, I might make a few quid, you know what I'm saying? I'm guessing it was a joke. And then someone bid it up to 70,000 within an hour. Then it went up to 99,000, and then the bidding stopped. And then she said, you can't go back. As soon as you put that 99,000 in, it's done. 99,000 for a face mask. You know what? People have got too much money these days. It must be a, a rich guy, you know, that just loves Amanda Cerny, a big fan, and just, you know, has a lot of money to to spend, you know, it's like, you know what? You need to get 99,000 for a face mask. Like, what is going on? Seriously. So Amanda Cerny was originally a Viner, you know, and then obviously Vine shut down. She went onto YouTube and now she does long skits on YouTube and now she has a million of subscribers there. What, what's he gonna do with the face mask? I don't know. What's he gonna hang it in his wall? Is he gonna wear it himself? And the man must be single, yeah? Cause I don't know, that's a bit weird. What do you guys think this guy would do with the face mask? Would he hang it in his wall? Would he wear it himself? Every time he goes to sleep, you know what I'm saying? He puts it next to him, he's like, oh, all night and he's kissing. I'm thinking of weird stuff now, but I just don't know what he's gonna do with a face mask. I 
really confused why he bought it. You know what? This is quite an easy way to make money. I need to go and get my chewing gum or my, you know, cup of coffee. You know what I'm saying? You know, drink it, you know, have some chewing gum, put it on eBay and see if someone will buy it. You know what I'm saying? Soon, yeah? So check out the eBay, you know what I mean? Chewing gums and that. I could make some, you know, some proper dough. You know what I'm saying? Dough. So yeah, make sure you give me like 50,000 for that one there, yeah? All right, cheers. Look at this beauty, it's one of the finest, yeah? We'll start at 200,000. Els Marshall has chewed on this. You ain't getting any other chewing gum like this unless I sell another one, of course. So I've got chewing gum, chewing gum for sale, chewing gum for sale. Oh, a lady in red hat, red hat, yep, yep, okay, 220, 220, 220, okay, oh, it's red, red, oh, I'm going red jumper, red jumper, yep, okay, oh, blue jumper, blue jumper, oh, yes, oh, red jumper, 230, 230, 230, okay, oh, 300, 300, oh, 300, sir, anyone or 300, anyone 300, oh, 320, 320, 320,000, okay, okay, anyone else, anyone else, anyone else, anyone else, okay, this is going for sale, five, four, three, two, oh, oh, okay, sell for 400, 400, the guy in the blue eyes, you know, nice, nice eyes, anyway, right there, four. 400,000, anyone else, anyone else? No? Nope. Sold. The guy in the blue eyes, beautiful. Next. In the last few days, the UK has been covered with snow. Everywhere, yeah? Like, I see people skiing, yeah? The beast from the east has arrived. The Russian weather has come to London, you know, it's come for a visit. So there's many pets around Britain that's never seen snow, like cats, dogs, you know, turtles. Actually, maybe not turtles, because they, they stay in the house and that, you know what I'm saying? They're all excited, jumping about in the snow. They don't even know what it is. Look how cute they are. So looking at some of these images, it's just mad cute, man. See dogs and cats being friends now. I think the snow just brings everyone together. You see this, you know, cat, uh, I don't know what he's doing. I might build some snowman, you know what I mean? Snowball fights, you know what I mean? We might do some snow angels. I don't know how dogs are gonna do snow angels, but like some random guy threw a snowball at me. And I was like, are you good? So obviously I had to Throw one back real quick. Don't mess with me with snowball fights. So how would you guys react if you was a pet and you know you saw snow for the first time? I'll be jumping about like, bro, I need to jump in the snow right away. Send in your reactions at MTV UK. Whoa, 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 hey, stop. So thank you guys for watching today's episode of Hey Guys. Make sure you check out at MTV UK and check out me at Els Marshall one And I'll see you guys next, all done. I might not even see you next week, you know what I'm saying? Hey, right, listen, man, selling all my used stuff, yeah? Chewing gums, you know, used coffee cups. You know what I mean? It's a new business. I'll see you guys whenever. Peace.